Yeah, well, Wynn and Gary Corporation started about seven years ago. Uh, we got approached by a property owner north of Cobar, uh, north of Hilston, sorry, heading towards Cobar uh, to see if we were interested, or the community people were interested in buying or taking possession of a property. And soon it was in the Nampa, uh, our traditional Nampa country, and there was a lot of Nampa people saying that we should have something other than Mount Grenfell, which is up the top end, we needed something down the bottom. So we first formed the corporation after we spoke with that property owner, which is, yeah, it'd be going back uh, 2006, maybe 2005. And that's where it all stemmed from, Winningiri. There's a couple of definitions of Winningiri, what Winningiri actually means. It's either, it means to learn or to be taught. So that's what we thought when we first created the um, corporation, we wanted something that we could put there to teach our young people. And that's what the corporation was really based at. When we first started, we sat down and had a couple of meetings and come up with that, winning gear. We did community camps to start with, and then after the property owner approached us, we went to ILC, and now we've got a property that we manage with five owner partners, which is called Mwonga. With Mwonga, uh, with, with it being a partnership, there's, we've got Winningiri Aboriginal Corporation, we've got Lachlan CMA, we've got IPA, uh, Indigenous Land Corporation, uh, Rural Fire Service, Bush Heritage, so all together there's about five or six different partners and we all work you know, pretty close together. We have a steering committee meeting four times a year where all the partners are involved in that. I suppose one of the other ones that we've we got, and I better not leave out, is um, National Parks and Wildlife or Office of Environment and Heritage or whatever they are at the moment. So, Yeah, with Wynn and Geary Aboriginal Corporation we, um, we started doing culture camps uh, involved in the culture camps for outside um, partners, I suppose, uh, med Aboriginal Medical Services, mainly the Griffith one. Um, and then when we went to across to Mwonga, we've been doing camps, culture camps at Mwonga. We've also done traditional burning with Lachlan CMA and the RFS. Uh, we've done uh, some surveys with Bush Heritage, we've done some surveys with National Parks and Wildlife in regards to the Mallyfowl, which is on the eastern end of Mwonga. In regards to Mwonga, um, we're looking at the future with Mwonga, with, um, education mainly. That was one of the big reasons why we wanted Mwonga. Uh, we work with TAFE New South Wales as well, but we've also Indigenous volunteers we get out there. Um, into the future we're looking at running training programs for youth that are trouble and won't go to school, plus older people. Even elders want to learn stuff, so we're going to look at elders. Um, at the moment we've got a bit happening at the Mwonga, we've got uh, solar electricity put on, just finished. So we're improving as we go, as we get more money, we're doing feral animal control out there, which is at the moment goat mustering. So a lot of our money is coming from goats at the moment to do all these other little projects. We've got two guys that work out there full time at the moment. We've got a manager and a trainee manager out there, we're calling them. Yeah, at the moment it's going really good and you know, into the future we're, we're open to get more and more community involvement and more and more community camps. So yeah, we're just hoping that that keeps going, hoping the traditional burning gets going a bit better. Hopefully um, other projects will just come on board from, from there.